Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be a two-part uh, video. Uh, we're going to be doing the water pump and the boot seal for the transom. Um, I've loosened up some of the nuts and bolts already. Um, this is going to be uh, cutting in and out a little bit because I'm doing this by myself and try to delay some of the uh, lengthier video here. Um, we'll just be doing some uh, quick overview on, on how to take it apart and put it together. So this is not going to be exactly a step by step, but it'll be pretty close. Um, one thing that you are going to want to do is buy yourself a manual. Um, I got this manual off of eBay for $15. There's the part number and that's what it looks like. Um, I do recommend getting a manual. Um, there's a lot of useful um, information inside this. Um, in fact, I even learned a couple things myself. Um, I'm actually going to be redoing um, one video here uh, to try and get the correct information out there. Um, so with that being said, we'll get started. Uh, this is a 76 OMC 140 with a Stringer Outdrive electric shift. Um, I'll show you where the electric shift wires are when we go and remove this outdrive. But I will give you a quick walk around here on where to get started on removing this outdrive. Right at your hinge points here, you got these caps. You're going to want to take these caps off. There's going to be two bolts down here. Oh, sorry, over to the side. You'll see the other side here, which still has a bumper. And I'll try and show you here one hand at all to get those bumpers off. Which you're going to have to take these off to grease these hinges anyways. But very carefully, you're going to want to get a screwdriver. Just carefully just pry them off. They sit on some studs and it can be kind of stiff. Come on, bugger. Alright. Now we got the bumper off. See your grease fitting right here. That's going to be one thing that you have to do in the spring, but we'll go all over that here in uh, summer prep and getting your boat out of storage. So I will cut the video off and we'll uh, resume here in a second. Okay, for this next part, when you remove these side caps here, you can see that there's a passage. This chunk of steel here is what actually keeps this out drive in, the, in its slot. There's two bolts, take them out, both sides. Um, then you're gonna want either a help of assistant or an engine stand or hoist and you're going to want to wrap a tie down around the out drive because uh, it does start getting loose um, you could maybe remove these caps and not not have it fall off fall off but better safe than sorry just go ahead and get this on there and uh, take these bolts out and we will uh, start pulling the out drive out just a little bit so we can get to the uh, electric shift wires and then we'll go inside the boat and uh, show you where to uh, disconnect them at. Alright, when you go ahead and pull these caps off, there's going to be like a little tiny like sleeve bearing kind of. Do not lose these. And also, as soon as I pulled those caps off, my out drive pulled away a little bit. So, I do recommend having something there or somebody there to help hold the out drive or catch it and these little sleeves are going to be on both sides go ahead and just set those off to the side here's my electric shift wires right there so we'll go inside the boat here and I'll show you where they're at they're going to be on your solenoid side so it'll be the left side of the boat they're gonna come up. Come on, flashlight. Right there. There's gonna be a little black sleeve over them that you're gonna have to pull up. So you just go ahead and disconnect those. Easy peasy. No 
and we'll go down below. We'll start pulling this out drive here a ways. Out. So I can get some room. And you're going to want to start tugging in. Start trying to pull that wire out. So I'm going to set you down, get this wire pulled out, and uh, we'll start taking this out drive apart. Alright, now we got the wires pulled out. Um, mine was in there really good. So what I did was is I took a pair of needle nose and I gently kind of just pulled it outwards. It does come, but it's it's in there pretty good. Now your outdrive is totally free. So now that you that you got your outdrive pulled away, it's a great time to inspect your ball gear. And which I would say that this one is slightly worn. Um, I'm not too worried about it yet, but it would be a great time to replace this boot seal. I think they're $55 off of Amazon, and uh, yeah, it'd be a great uh, preventive maintenance thing to do because I don't think you want to pull this out drive off for the giggles of it. So now we'll uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get this thing on the bench, and we'll uh, we'll start tearing it apart. All right, so once you get your out drive on the bench, you're going to want to take this upper cap off. Make sure that thing don't fall. Your upper cap looks like this. Now, note, when you take this apart, there's a little washer that goes in there. Now, let me flip this over. There's a spring. There's going to be a little lip on it. Now you're going to want to make sure that lip goes against the spring because that goes right here. So once you get this cap and there's six bolts and go one, two, three and then three on the other side and you'll be able to pull this right out. Now just keep an eye for anything that, that could drop out. Um, I haven't split this one yet. Um, if anything falls out I'll note it but I'll go ahead I'll get this out of here and uh, we'll go to the next step. There's the lower unit. And here's your upper unit right here. When you go ahead and split this apart, there's nothing that's, that's going to fall down inside there, so you're good. But there is grease fitting right here, which I explained in uh, one of my previous videos. And it'd be this chamber where the grease goes because it pivots right in there and your water pump is going to be right at the bottom so we'll go ahead and we'll get this split apart and uh, we'll do the next step All right. you get the water pump out there's four bolts that go in the bottom of it take those out probably going to be full of that make a gasket or RTV I'm thinking it's that make a gasket but I do want to know when you split these two there is a gasket or a bushing that goes on top of where this swivels so this makes sure that uh, you know you notice that when you take yours apart um, this part here I had to take a rubber hammer mallet and I kind of tap this because uh, that shaft is a little grody looking. Anyways, this is the water pump. And uh, we'll get a split apart here. And uh, we'll uh, go ahead and rebuild this. Alright, now we got the water pump split open. There is um, make a gasket on here. It seals it to this plate. So, you're going to want to do... Let's get a screwdriver down inside this hole. You can kind of hook that plate. Give it a couple of good whacks with the hammer. That's kind of what it looks like. There's a keyway here. On the new water pump, it's going to come with a new plate, impeller, and some new o rings. So just make sure you note everything that uh, came off of yours. This impeller actually don't look all that bad. 
Well, maybe it is. I guess so when you compare it to it's actually it's pretty worn. So it was time. Um, when you do yours, make sure you note what direction these fins are going. And uh, we'll go ahead, we'll get this torn apart, cleaned up, and we'll start the assembly. Alright, so when you get ready to install your new impeller, you're going to take a new plate. It's also going to have a new metal side. Make sure when you put this together that you sit where it says pump side on the plate, put it on the pump side. But to get the impeller in, what you're going to do is you're going to take some Dawn dish soap. Um, you can use Vaseline um, or you can use um, a grease that is safe for rubber. But uh, Dawn works just as good and it's sitting in just about every kitchen. So we're going to go ahead put some Dawn in there. You don't have to be stingy about it. Get it smeared around the side there. And this is just mostly so when you go and start it up, it's not putting a dry start on that impeller. And you're going to want to note which direction your old one was going and you're going to want to match that. So when you go ahead and do yours, you're going to want to do a push and twist. Kind of get it started in there. And push. Hopefully I'm doing this the right direction the first time. Come on, bugger, get in there. There we go. what it'll look like. Like I said, don't be stingy on it. Go ahead and get it soaked up good. And um, When you go ahead and reassemble, clean up any metal parts. You know, like this shaft here is really dirty. We're going to clean that up. And um, we'll go ahead and we'll start reassembly. Alright. Um, when you go ahead and install your impeller onto the shaft, you might notice on yours, it might only go on so far. Well, that's because the clearance inside here is a little thick. Well, there's no really good way to put this in a mill to bore this out or put it in a lathe to bore it out. So just take your shaft and just keep turning it back and forth. Finally, you will get it enough to get on there. So if you, if you have that problem installing yours, that trick should do it. Um, don't force it. Don't try and hammer it on. Just work it back and forth. As you can see, this one's still just a little bit tight, but that's okay. We can get it on now. So, if you encounter that problem, do that to yours. Alright, for your next part of assembly, you're going to want to get some of this Permatex Aviation Form a Gasket. Um, it forms a seal but it doesn't harden, it kind of stays soft. So what you're going to want to do, a little bit on your brush, on your base mount plate, or impeller plate, whatever you'd like to call it, go ahead, we'll smear it around the side here, around the edges, the bolt holes, um, work your way around. So that way it has a good seal. I suppose I can move for the camera here. You're going to want to make sure that this is nice and clean, grease free, so it has a better chance of sealing. And this stuff is the reason why it can be so difficult to take apart. It works pretty, pretty dang good. I don't use this stuff a lot, but. That Loctite make a gasket would probably work too in this occasion. And it's just a squeeze tube and just squeeze it wherever you need to go. You're going to want to let this sit for a few minutes. 
before you apply any parts to it for uh, before you tighten it up now make sure when you take your impeller back plate it says pump side it's facing up so when you take your pump and flip it over it's facing all in the right direction we're gonna go ahead drop it oh one thing is, is there's an o-ring inside this shaft your uh, new uh, impeller kit should come with that o-ring make sure you change that out first and it also comes with a new key which I just had I just had that sucker wherever I set it there it is and go ahead and uh, put this in if I can uh, do this here without screwing it up set the key hmm so that happens when I try and do too many things at once apparently key in this slot make sure it's flat side poking out Just stick it in there line your water pump I'll put the key slot on the impeller Oh, one thing is, is too, you're going to want to put some of this on the plate of the impeller. I kind of jumped the gun there. Kind of just get it around the outside here. Outside, inside, any place where... It's a mating surface. Kind of do a Bob Ross strokes here. Careful around the impeller chamber. You don't want to try not to get any in there. Like I said, kind of just do some Bob Ross strokes. in there Bit. 
trusty hammer. Give it a couple of love taps. Push the key over on me again. Alright, I'm going to pause this and uh, we'll resume here once I get this key in. Alright, so once you get the key in, line up your holes on here. Grab your bottom plate. You're going to want to line up the holes on there. Try not to smear it around too much here so we don't lose it. Now, let's see here. Two of the holes are going to be closer together than the other two. And we'll just put a bolt through it just to hold it in place just so it's lined up. You take your bank of gasket here, or whatever you want to call it, and kind of smear some on here. I don't think you have to do the whole. Thing, but I'm going to should have something that looks kind of kind of like that now don't forget the gasket that goes on the shaft it comes with the new one go ahead and slide that down to the bottom So it looks kind of like so. Go ahead and slide it back into the lower unit. Same thing. Want to make sure you got your holes lined up on there. And we're gonna put some of that gasket on here too. So we'll uh, pause this and we'll resume here. All right. After you. Uh, get this fitted together just snug um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to let that form gasket sit for a few minutes um, so it gets a little bit of a tackiness to it and it does get tacky um, normally I wear latex gloves when I do this types of stuff but I uh, I didn't this time um, so when you get it to this point go ahead and let it sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna use the uh, German uh, torque spec of good and tight um, these were pretty tight coming out. I didn't notice the torque spec in the book for it, but I, I really didn't spend all, all that much time looking either. So I just went ahead and just snugged them up good. And uh, with that form of gasket that you put on the bolts, on the uh, shoulder part of it, um, it should keep them from uh, coming loose. Um, so now that you're back to this point, you can go ahead, set it back down on the lower unit and uh, start putting uh, the rest of your nuts and bolts back in. Um, don't forget to uh, put the cap back up on here. Um, clean anything up that's going to have grease coming around it. Um, just make sure it's all good and clean, especially on your hinge points here on the out drive. And uh, also, take you out a tripod here. On your lower units as well uh, just go ahead clean all that up and uh, just put a fingers where, where the grease on everything so it's not going back together dry and uh, go ahead and take this cap off and start pumping grease into it so uh, I will uh, get this done and uh, get it back together and uh, we'll put it back on the boat all right now we got the out drive all back together um, one thing that I didn't realize when I took this apart is, is these bolts right here on the lower unit. You don't have to remove those. 
I was looking at that seam just below and I thought that whole thing came apart but it's just this this chunk right here that just comes out um, I'll flip the thing around quick set you down So the only thing you have to remove is just that upper cover and then that whole kit and caboodle comes out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the uh, boot seal now and uh, I don't think I need to, sh need to show how to put this back together. You just reverse your steps on removal. So I'll go ahead and wrap this one up and uh, get started on the next project. I uh, hope this helped you guys and uh, thanks for watching.